There isn't a cat lover on the planet who is not familiar with ginger tabbies. I've had a fascination with them since I was a young girl and a lover of all things Garfield. One fun fact about ginger tabbies is that they're predominantly male. Another thing that we know about ginger tabbies? They're usually laid back, friendly cats who love to be with their pets and their people. But have you ever wondered why it is that these orange kitties are usually so friendly? Let's take a closer look. Linking temperament and coat color and pattern is nothing new. While we know for certain that ginger tabbies are praised and adored for their gregarious nature, tuxedo cats are admired for their over-the-top catitude. For anyone that's ever shared their home with a tuxedo cat, then they know exactly what I mean when I say that these cats are the kings and queens of catitude. What's even more interesting is that coat color and pattern and common behavioral traits has been noted and observed in several mammalian species, some of which include foxes and rats. While in humans, many redheads are known for being fiery, the same cannot be said for ginger cats. On average, a ginger tabby is going to be outwardly friendly more times than not. These cats are known for enjoying the company of others, whether that's humans or other animals. For myself, I've had four ginger tabby cats from the time I was young. They've even gone for walks with me in my neighborhood, much to my neighbor's disbelief. Ginger tabbies are well known for their clingy nature, and that's likely a reason why so many cat lovers are so fond of them. Because how can you not feel special with a cat lingering around at all times? Of course, cats are individuals and no two will ever be identical. For example, this ginger tabby is not one I'd label as friendly, but I could definitely label them as protective of their domain. Okay, okay. There have been a number of studies which have set out to take a closer look at cat coat and temperament to see if the two are linked in some way. While it seems that reports are not always conclusive concerning all types of coat colors and patterns, male ginger tabbies were notably recognized for being social, calm, and not easily startled when compared to other cats. Another thing they're known for is being chatty too. Although female gingers are reported as being a little more soft-spoken than males. So they're not scaredy cats that could be labeled as aloof and standoffish which in turn explains why time and time again, they've been labeled as the friendliest cats of all. Want to know something else that orange cats are usually known for too? Their love of food, which makes them typically larger than the average feline. But just as cats are individuals, this theory doesn't always hold true. My little Tom does love to eat, but he only tips the scales at six pounds. His ginger housemate, Mr. Purple, is in an impressive 15 pounds, but his larger frame is due mostly to his Maine Coon cat DNA. Fun little ginger tabby cat coat back for you? You won't see a solid red, orange, or cream cat without the familiar tabby markings. Wanna know why? Because the gene that makes a cat's coat red or cream is also responsible for those stripes. Now that you've learned all about those friendly felines, stay tuned to the next video from the Catitude Daily YouTube channel to learn more about cat coats in relation to temperament. You know you want to.